Hi there, Leo. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your November reading. This is the 2023 year we're talking about when we're in this video, but of course, please come back to this video over time. It may resonate in 2026, 2025. Okay, so don't um, be shy to sort of play around with the time that it may relate to for you. Um, and in what way, right? So keeping up in mind, maybe next week, it'll manifest more literally for you. Let's jump into it, uh, Leo. I am hearing something about the archetype of Aries, and I'm seeing a little lantern, like a Japanese lantern, and I'm also seeing um, acorns. Okay, so that could be a very particular message. But I'm actually going to initiate this read with a new deck, and so that's very exciting. Um, this is, oh, a Italian, an Italian deck, so, okay, let's see here, I'm just gonna literally open it right now, I'm seeing some kind of peaches, makes me think of that song by Justin Bieber, got my peaches down in Georgia, hmm. Exciting. This takes me back. I used to live in Italy for a period of time. Studied work to live there. Okay. So let's see. Um, I'm going to initiate the deck. Funny. Well, this is um, literally in Italian. So this is like, okay, pop quiz nat. <laughs> Do you remember your Italian? <laughs> so um, interesting. Okay. Il Mato. It's a fool. Okay, so yeah, let's uh let's do this, guys. I'm gonna initiate the deck. Let's clear the energy. seen the number seven return to center seven and twelve i'm here in reina means queen italian okay so let's jump straight into it leo let's see what what is what Five of Cups. Can actually zoom out here. I got a bit more in the view. I am getting that someone is quite emotional about you, Leo, right off the bat. There's someone here who is having a tough time accepting what you maybe you said. Okay. Re di spade. King of swords. Five of medallions. Six of medallions. Interesting. I very much like this deck. This is really... Um, it's kind of slowing down the processes of the brain. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, this person, you guys, you know, they're still hooked on you. Could be a water sign, Scorpio specifically. I feel that they are still very much in their feels about you. I'm looking at the way that moon is sort of has a look look on its face. You know, um, they had dreams. They did. Uh, the moon is looking back at the stars. Some of you, they feel like you're too good for them. 
Um, yeah, this is definitely a Scorpio that you're dealing with. Could be as someone who's got a lot of Scorpio and a lot of Capricorn. I'm hearing, I just wish that we could have... Yeah, this person, um, I'm hearing, because every time we touch, I get this feeling. Yeah, every time they're around you, they I, I see this person getting nervous a bit. Like, you make them feel, um... I mean, hey, I mean, they're dealing with a Leo, right? So Leo is, yeah. But I feel that they could have interpreted your last few moments together as quite brash. I'm hearing unexpectedly. So so we have the Four of Cups as well, and we have the Rey de Cope, which is the King of Cups. Oh, hi, Alex. Scorpio, Four Planet Scorpio over here. Hello, doll. Hi. I do feel that they f they feel a little guilty as well. Um, this can really, yeah, this is um, quite complicated. But to make it simple, because what are we looking at here for November, right? It's not a huge surprise if there is a Scorpio here who you've sort of separated from in their in their fields. Because, I mean, this is Scorpio season, right? Partly it's going to be coming around this whole Scorpio archetype. So Scorpios that you've known, Scorpios that you don't yet know, who maybe this person will eventually fall into the category of, you know, you keep it up in mind. But let's get further. Um, this person is definitely curious about you, wanting to sort of honestly interact with your... I'm feeling this constriction in the heart chakra, the sacral, and the root. They feel like they didn't really um, do all that they could have, and so there is an ounce of regret, Leo, that we see. And they do have a great deal of respect for you, but they're having a tough time sort of integrating that possibly with their own ego. Kava... Uh, Maybe just didn't have enough room. Cavalli di bastoni. So that's um, Knight of Wands. And then we have the Il Giudizio. This is uh, Judgment. Yeah, I feel like a lot of pressure on the Heart Chakra. Um, and even on this card right here, Gliamanti, which is Lovers. She has her heart, her hand on her heart right there. This person, um, I feel they're stuck. Okay, they feel literally like they are like coagulating in the history of who you two were and what they couldn't do about it. Like, it's very a bit, a bit embarrassing. Okay, the Ten of Swords as well here we have. Fonda di Bastoni, which is Page of Wands. Yeah. Um, they have a lot of yearning for you. Um, so the issue here is passivity, ultimately. I mean, is it really ego? I think it's more passivity because everybody is ego. It's how we sort of confront and do something about how it is that we have processed, okay, um, our heart self through the lens of our ego. This person has not made it very far, I feel, when it comes to those two conversations and sort of being able to understand who they are amidst the two. And so they're maybe quite young as well. They haven't had a lot of experiences and I feel like they're very shy, but even embarrassed, honestly, Leo, about sort of like who they were around you. Um, um, and maybe in relation to you, like, you're very impressive is what I'm hearing. Again, I mean, beholder of the solar energy. As the solar placement, if you are a sun sign Leo, um, that's sometimes, especially if you're a bit shy, hard to be around. It's like, whoa, this person's so confident. Now, I'm not saying that all Leos are in the higher form of that, right? There is also shadow toxic confidence. We have the two of swords. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, yeah. So there was a lot of this, I'm hearing, like, chaos, pressure. Like, I'm hearing sword fighting, literally. Like, they had to kind of um, fight fight for you is how they felt, and they felt that they couldn't. So it's embarrassing. Again, I'm going to reiterate that. We have Il Carro, which is the, uh, I must say, chameleon. Ca that makes me think of that song, Caca Chameleon. Um, the Chariot. In La Forza, yeah. They feel like they're not going to for you guys. The Wheel of Fortune, like, they kind of let you... Just walk right by them. Um, it could have been that you had an opportunity to connect with this person and they just kind of, you know, didn't make, didn't make, but they could have of it. We'll say it like that, at least. The Nine of Swords. Yeah, some of you, you're very successful, I see. You are, uh, for some of you, I see something about New York, Manhattan. Um, they are just, like, intimidated by everything that you've created in your life to this point. Um, much of what you created is sort of, like, things that they would aspire to um, emulate one day. Should they possibly believe in reincarnation? In other words, they don't believe that they can ever do what you've done in this lifetime. So I see a lot of 
of insecurity, right, uh, at the forefront. Um, now, but let's go back to it, right, with the Rey of uh, the Rey de Golpe. This person does really have feeling for you, so they're in a tricky spot. How do I manage what I feel and also still understand what uh, I'm doing that is not allowing me to sort of capacitate openly with this person, how I figure that they may potentially be able to live in my future um, alongside me and not where I'm like sort of putting them down. I'm hearing that as well. Maybe this person has a tendency to sort of, you know, when we're feeling insecure, we have our ways to sort of navigate that situation. Some people, they confront their insecurities. They're very honest, very open. Some people, they become kind of, um, I'm hearing hazardly. Okay. Yeah, this person, um, yeah. So let's get a little further though. I'm going to, yeah. Anything else here? Yeah, some of you, you're a painter. Um, I'm hearing Monet, something about Monet. Hmm. Yeah, they're also intimidated by your physical looks, your beauty, okay, is part of as well what I feel may be sort of influencing this person. Some, um, yeah, they also don't know, like, if what they could offer you was even good enough. I got, like, a somber energy. We have the Seven of Pentacles. It's kind of interesting because, like, this is very, like, not Leo, I feel, um, in a lot of ways. But, <clears throat> yeah, so are you dealing with a Scorpio, Leo? Two of Pentacles. You could be heavy on the Leo. You, I mean, you could be a Scorpio, but you are more heavy on the Leo side. And then I feel <laughs> um, Sag and Scorpio back there. But yeah, I feel like this person's more Scorpio. So this person is going to try to do something. You know, the good news is that they're not totally dismissing you. Rey di Copa in reverse. Yeah, they just don't want to overwhelm you, possibly. Like, they're insecure about what they feel. <clears throat> they're not yet accepting... <clears throat> they're <clears throat> I am hearing their fantasies of you. Maybe they're overwhelmed by what they think that you guys could be together one day, and it's really throwing them the hell off, okay? Like, they're really feeling insecure about the, the, the relationship between their fantasies, what they think that they could do with you, if they would be a different person, honestly, is what I'm hearing, and what they're actually doing and so it's kind of like being you're very much mirroring and reflecting a lot of these insecure energies for this person not saying it's a bad thing this person um may even have you know possibly it could be a a more formal diagnosis of a, a personality so-called dysfunction or disorder uh it could be bipolar it could be you know personally i believe that there's always a shockwork influence and there is always going to be a matter of entities involved so but um in a more like matrixy sense we'll say that yeah they could have a bipolarism or uh something of like a mood swing sort of it's not uncommon with scorpio energy that is not uh in balance and in check let's clear it mm -hmm. third eye throw chakra down the right side of the body and they are you know they sometimes swing the air towards this like jealous energy as well um and they they the thing is they feel much pressure around you and what you have created this is a royal bloodline here that you work with i see that this person sees you and they're you know on one hand amazed and then the other hand they are very um they they, they feel they're in a war that they cannot you know, ward ward their um their their uh, their their ch their challengers away, and they they don't know how to manifest this. You guys like they're really feeling like they're losing um the battle. Okay, and it is about something just so simple as uh, hey, uh, you know, I I I I see potential with you. This person here is kind of fighting the feeling. I'm hearing because I can't fight this feeling anymore, but they keep fighting, and it's coming off very silly, and they realize that. So we have il mato the fool and the ten of swords yeah so the issue here is communication regina dispadia you trump this person in every capacity i feel like they know they have no shot against you if they were to actually confront you so uh, sometimes when they do get very triggered and they want to sort of like take this all on and you know sometimes they think that it's like you're the culprit of what they're feeling no you're reflecting for them you are mirroring their shadow work that they have to do still yet have yet to still do this person um they could even be you know someone you would classify at times as a narcissist a gaslighter um and they really i'll say it again and again you know 
don't have what it takes at this point in time to be able to have an honest open conversation with you about that like this is not someone who you can actually sit down with and sort of like yeah metal through these you know, different you know medallions that there's you know not willing to sort of put down uh, they really have to get to a point of vulnerability of surrender okay let's clear it down let's body they see so-called vulnerability as weakness so that's where they are in the toxic shadow patriarchy energies and that's not going to be where they find transcendence with you you here are um light light years ahead of their of their pace and they know that they do know that okay so let's get here a little bit further here leo i'm gonna pull now a card for each of the days of november Some of you are very intelligent. Um, very intelligent. Uh, and I will say it again. They know that. Four of Pentacles. Don't don't think that they are deluded in that in any bit. Uh, we have the list. Okay. Jade, Jade, Jade. Isaac is sleeping. Doll, doll. No, no. Let's clear the energy. Alex, doll. Down, doll. Two, three, four, five. You know, guys, they're waiting for something to happen so that they can sort of barge in. But again, I, I don't see that winning you over at all. I, I feel like they're really going to have to go to ground zero, start all over again. Learn a thing from Brian, Brian McKnight, you know. Learn a thing or two from Brian McKnight himself. And I'll start it back at one. Yeah, he's got to start over. Like, really just, you know. He doesn't want to give up this fight. And I'm saying he, but it can be a talk. I mean, we could see toxic masculine and feminine energy. It's really not about gender, right? So, um, but yeah, they're just not willing to sort of confront the same, same issue. Okay. But just from the vantage point of what they may need to transform in their life. Oh, this is actually not a card. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like this person may be passing around rumors. I'll consider it like a wild card placement right there. They're kind of like trying to like create this image in their mind. You know, they maybe have literally talked smack behind your back and tried to sort of put you down and whatnot, but <clears throat> that could be a metaphor. Maybe they are in their mind with their, with their own mind. <clears> Throughout chakra, um, kind of making stories. And I feel like, uh, Leo, this is very interesting because for some of you... Hey guys, uh, we just got cut off there. So yeah, but we were still recording here, which is cool. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I'm getting the sense that your guides have... For many of you, most likely remove this person from your life for some time because they need to realize, I'm hearing the name Deborah, the name Deborah, they need to realize that you're not their issue, okay? Because this person, I'm hearing the name Rose and I'm seeing a mouse, they realize that they cannot project onto you, okay? Um, they do realize that, especially if you haven't had space near this person for quite some time, Um they have had a lot of realization. So let's get here further, though. Yeah. Yeah, this person um, has a shadow Aries Mars energy that is at play. So this is the last week of November. Let's just pull that. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I'm here in Fields of Gold by Sting. Guys, many of you, this person owes you an apology. I see them very silly at times. That's how they're able to escape this discussion that they have to have with you that is actually quite serious. Um, they are self-aware enough to know that they're doing that. Can I get here a card from this Oracle deck, please, Spirit? There is the notion of travel that could be related to how this is going to hash out eventually. They may have to travel to you. They may have to talk about some kind of travel plans here. Or they may have to explain some travel plans that they've already had um, in the past. Now, what I'm going to do, actually, Leo, call it overboard. I'm going to open another deck for you. This is a new deck. And um, let's see what this is about here. It's an easier deck to open, so it'll be a little quicker. But let's do what we can here, Leo, for you. I want to see really where we can go with this message. Um, I feel like they have a lot that they need to open up to with you. I'm going to initiate this really quickly. Some of you, they tried to, like, hit you up and you didn't answer them. I just noticed how thick these cars are. And they're almost, like, three-dimensional. Hmm, interesting. Has, like, a feel to it. 
Yeah, I feel like they attempted to hang out with you out here like that, like, but then, you know, you, you kind of, um, you didn't, um, you didn't mind them? I'm hearing it like that. Maybe they called you, they could have texted you. Some of you, they tried to literally swing by your house, but it almost is maybe of, like, this vibe. Oh, that's a really beautiful card. Um, they tried to, like, hit you up at a time that they knew you wouldn't be able to pick up at. Something like that, uh-huh. Okay, a little bit like, while well, I called you. It's like, okay, you called me when you knew I was in class, so does it count? Mm, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> wow, these cards are so beautiful. Oh my god, look at that. <gasps> wow, wow, really magical. Really, really just marvelous um, illustrations and just the whole touch with the gold. Okay, let's get further. By the way, guys, I know that some of you signed up for my deck. Um... That was like a few years ago. So, well, you signed up. You hit, you put your name on the waitlist. So, oh, I'm very excited to do that eventually. Um, but yeah, we got to work with Spirit on the timing. And uh, but yeah, you're not forgotten. Thank you guys so much for your support there. The Six of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. This person here is what you would call a man's man, and it doesn't have to be a masculine again. They um they like their their shell. They like their def defense, but that is not what makes them masculine, and that's the irony, and I feel like they, they think that you see through that, okay? They think that you're kind of seeing them as a silly, wannabe, okay, macho, macho man, I'm hearing that, macho woman, like, they feel like, of all people, you're not impressed by any of that show and tell, and that um, display that you know, the overture of their uh, gestures towards you that are ingenuine, honestly. Like, at the end of the day, you're like, if you don't have those natural-born principles of faith, humility, and honesty, okay, your morals, if they're not upright, I don't know how to regard you as anyone but, you know, someone who I don't see as my man, at least. And that's where they're really triggered. King of Swords, because they're realizing that you're sort of setting a standard and they're not used to that. I'm going to say it as well. So crazy lace, agate, and sunflower. Play more fun jokes and laughter. This person, I, we said it, right? With that wild card here. In the third week of November that had come through, that they like to sort of mess around. And, you know, that bit them in the butt. It bit them in the butt. Okay, that bit them in the butt with you, it did. So, let's get further. Yeah, because you didn't tolerate that. Now, what's really interesting, I'm actually looking over here at this deck. Over here, and I see... This is literally, like, the sun and the moon. Which makes me think it kind of emulates the sun and the moon card in the tarot with the major kind of however. Grandmother Moonstone. Cycles of Trinia. Yeah. So, there's something here that they're confronting. And it's uh, very um, uncomfortable. I will say it just like that for you, Leo. Let's get a little bit further, though. Um, let me meditate. Yeah. Okay, so let me see here. Anything that's... I'm hearing the 11th, the 10th, and the 11th are going to be really key dates. I'm seeing a big star on the 10th as well. Um, some of you here, there's a talk coming around the 9th and the 8th as well, the 7th. Um, something is trickling in. It's an important decision that you're going to have to make. It can be something that this person may propose to you. Um, some of you here, yeah. Um, beware, you know, some of you, this person may try to sort of bring up some situation so that you have to interact with them, but not within the capacity that you would want to. They may try to make some, like, little excuse that you have to talk now together but it's not the it's not coming from that place of where they really need to be coming from to have true closure and, and uh, a new beginning with you something about british soldiers could be past life energy um we have gemini energy coming through and that's number two or 22 can also be a focus and that's third house number 40 as well as coming through on the fonte de Copa, which is the page of cups in that second week and this is right around eight nine ten the 11th right there yeah so um there could be something about matters of um it's very interesting there could be some issue here i'm hearing rivalry with that five of swords in the first week i'm seeing that that's actually pointing down into this energy of the fonte de Copa. this person you know they are feeling confronted that they need to confront something and they just have to come down to it look at this card right here coming out on that note <laughs> the eight of clubs excuse me isaac what's going on he's a gemini okay so um it says lol yeah so this person is trying to get what they can out of this, um, meaning that having not to let go of part of their ego, all the meanwhile reconnecting to you. It's not going to work like that. Uh, no, it's not going to work like that. And Isaac, what is this bubby? What is this barking bubby? Can you wait, Isaac? Gemini is feeling impatient. Okay, so anything else here in this third week that we want to see? They may 
try to, um, this person is persistent. Okay. This person is persistent like Isaac. Um, Isaac is actually a cusper between Taurus and Gemini. So he has that Taurus to him. He does. Isaac? What? What's going on? Now my hair is catching on to this thing. Okay. No, to the microphone. Yeah. So there's something that, um, there's a door they need to move through with you. Return to center. Let's find the sake roll. Uh, Jade, excuse me. No, uh, no crying, no barking, or are you going to go in the playpen? No, no. None of that right now. I'm still working. No. Um, this person is, tr yeah, they, 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 they have to have a, even like a very particular debate <coughs> with you. Give me a second here. And I'm going to turn this so that we're not exposing my, yeah. Come here. No, no. Uh, I can So, yeah, um, you know, this person is going to have to come down to something in that third week. Um, what are they going to, uh, what are they going to, I mean, what are they thinking? Are they thinking? <laughs> so we do have that Ace of Wands upright, which is giving me that, like, sort of more impulsive energy. Uh, four of swords. Okay, so this person's definitely, oh my, the eight of swords. Not in a brave energy right now. Not in the least bit. And I feel like they've realized something about, well, let's return it to center. And right there we have strength. So I feel this person is feeling that I'm hearing anything that they could do, you could do better. So when they're finally ready, they're realizing that you're already farther ahead. This person is lagging. I like to get a little bit on, yeah, the star. So let's clear, return to center. Clear throw chakra. Many of you, you guys, uh, what you need to know is that you are literally like light paces, light years ahead of this person's generation, maybe even meaning on the energy plane. You have figured the karma that they're moving through. So it's like you're kind of a guide for this person, but you're not meant to actually be around this person while they're sort of figuring whatever they need to figure out here. I'm hearing channel. For some of you, it could be channel islands. We have Pisces here. Someone could be a Pisces. Um... That's funny because that's number 41 and the Gemini card was number 40. Right? Yeah. So, and it's funny because I'm a Pisces and Isaac is a Gemini. Uh, but yeah, for some of you here, like this person is realizing and your guys are, you know, holding them back with meaning it's not random, you know, that you're not with, around this person. Like you guys have to have space from each other so that this person can really, um, the point here is not to interact with you. Really. It's not about the closure with you. It's about them letting these guards down. Um, and that doesn't mean that they let them down when they're around you. It means that they let them down period. And it's because about them, right? This is not about you. So, and that's why they need to be more alone because they, they, um, dur during this transit, because they need to realize that it's not, that they're someone in relation to you or that they're not someone in relation to you. Cause they're seeing you very much as like an antagonistic character in the play of their life right now. So they have to be moving through their, their karma more Ill alone. So this four of swords is not really them like running away from you with the eight of swords. It's, I don't see it as like they're avoiding you. I see this as they're not ready to actually um, honor Okay, and uh, your, your story. And it, it means that they have yet still things to sort of maul on. And this is your, your higher selves holding this conversation away. Far away, I'll say it like that for many of you, from really touching <clears throat> the stone as one. Um, you know, the, yeah, return to center. The, yeah, touching the stone. Okay, so there's something very important here about hit your history. And <clears throat> I mean, it's like, it's not a bad thing. It's just, it's actually very interesting because this is a bit ironic this four of swords eight of swords page of swords <clears throat> excuse me throw chakra my my <clears throat> let's go down the rest of my <clears throat> it's interesting because yeah this feels like they're running away but what's actually happening here and i'm a channeler starseed oracle medium by the way in case you're curious this is um them needing to 
uh, change the way that they're observing this whole conversation altogether. I'm hearing Singh, S-I-N-G-H, like a last name. Uh, they maybe are Indian. Uh, but anyways, they, they, they ha this is them needing to um, become more honest with what really is the problem. So this is not, oh, I didn't get the chance to talk to them. This is, they actually um, now realize their own, their own doing, okay, to themselves, okay? This is not a conversation with you. It's kind of like, oh, okay, I'm going to ring her up for two seconds and see if she picks up. Uh, but I know she's not going to pick up because she's not available at this time. Okay, so he's going to call you. And when you <clears throat> don't pick up, it's like, lo and behold, you never even got that two minute little blip call because, <clears throat> yeah, no, 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 honey. I mean, you're not even there. So the ir it's an irony here. And so he's realizing that this game is not, I'm saying Peacock Feathers, is not made for two people. It's made for one person's ego with their own higher self. And that's this person's. It's not having nothing to do with you. So it's kind of like the ball gets bounced back. It's like a return to sender. It's like a, you know, no, it's actually really on your term. What you need to talk about here and I'm not involved in. I don't see you engaging even in that. It's not like you even had the space from your guides. Okay. Uh, doing, I'll say it like that to really engage whatsoever. So there is kind of like just this um, refraction, reflection, mirroring. And it's um, something that they are kind of going to um come down to you know it's an epiphany i'm seeing smoke i'm seeing fog like yeah they're uh they're undoing their own consciousness here with the four of swords and the eight of swords and the page of swords and uh, they're realizing that um they, they 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 ought to do such a thing before ever even uh thinking you know it's silly like oh i thought that maybe uh let's go to the back this <laughs> yeah we keep getting the star Let's return to the heart chakra, sacral on the root. Yeah, it's like everything that they were thinking of doing with you, they realized they ended up doing to themselves. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, it's kind of um, a moment of, it's very surreal. Uh, it's kind of like, I got my karma. I'm hearing that as well. So that's what I'm seeing. Uh, we'll get you guys further messages on the members part of this channel. Join there. We'll